in division, well, it's a lot, lot easier than doing it in Cartesian form. So if we try and divide these two things, so we're going, uh, first one is 5, with an angle of 0 0.927, and the second one is root 29, with an angle of negative 1.19, then all we do is we divide our fraction, so 5 over root 29, you can work that out as a decimal if you want to, but you don't need to. <coughs> so you're dividing your two magnitudes, and then you're subtracting your two angles. So we're going to go with uh, 0.927 minus negative 1.19 equals 2.117. Okay, so we have um, a new complex number in polar form. It has a magnitude, and it has a, uh, a direction. So in general form, if we're looking through this in generally, if we have complex numbers that we're looking to divide, we just divide the sizes and we subtract the angles. And notice that the order does matter. It doesn't really matter with multiplication because R times S is the same as S times R, and if you add things, it doesn't matter which order you add them in. But with division, it does matter. It has to be R divided by S, and then the top one minus the bottom one to make it work out. And that is a lot, lot easier than doing division um, by Cartesian form. Uh, we have to worry about that whole multiplying the top and the bottom by the conjugate at the bottom. So it's a lot easier. And by extension, when we come to do powers, it's a lot, lot easier to do powers in polar form than it is in Cartesian form.